what's up everybody it's roya i am back for another video as you all can see by the title and today's video is going to be a what's in my bag and a review of the bag y'all have been asking me a thousand and one questions about and that is my coach cassie so i'm not gonna do a super long intro i really kind of want to go ahead and get to what's in it and then i want to discuss and review the bag because i have like two little gripes that have happened but overall i really really love the bag so i want to get into that portion because i feel like i'm gonna be running my mouth with that so without any further ado let's jump right into what's in all the right bag. so before i go into what's in the bag i want to shout out my girl mo knows best or i'm sorry mo knows beauty she knows best when it comes to handbags too but her channel page is mo knows beauty i'm gonna leave her link below for you guys um and i'm also gonna link my girl keiko beauty and i'm gonna tell y'all why they both well mono's beauty mentioned this bag specifically keiko beauty piqued my interest when she got this and this was months back this was i think it was in like the beginning of the pandemic she got this really really cute orange it looked like um almost like alma bb stylish bag if i can remember the name of it i will try to link like link it or leave it across the screen i think it was called the sierra the sienna something like that and it piqued my my interest with coach again then we fast forward to around my birthday mono's beauty was talking about her i think second or third coach cassie because she has multiples of this bag and i went on the website and the bag was on sale and i pulled the trigger um Back in the day, I used to be a really big Coach fan. Like, I love their leather. Even till right now, I think their leather is unmatched. They have really, really good leather. Um, the stitching on this bag is beautiful. I'll just let you guys know that. But I was pleased when I got the bag. So, I'm going to give y'all a review. But again, I just wanted to preface that these two girls are the reason that I have this bag. So, let's go ahead and talk about what's in it. Have the little turn lock here now this is what my bag is looking like currently in the inside you oops sunglasses are gonna drop y'all know i am not a dirty bag girl i've prefaced that in other what's in my bag and handbag videos i'm not a dirty handbag girl i don't have tons of receipts i actually clean my bag every night to every other night um because i don't like clutter I don't like clutter in my life and I don't like looking into things that are cluttered. It makes it very, um, okay. Can y'all see this? Y'all can't see it. It says longest move streak. <laughs> keep closing them rings, girl. Okay. I'll keep telling y'all I'm trying to get all svelte and everything. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm not a dirty bag girl. I clean my bag often. It's a little warm in here, y'all. I clean my bag often. I don't like a trashy bag. So let's finally get into it, girl. You've been talking three minutes and you still ain't talked about what's in the bag. But this is what it looks like in the inside. In this very front pocket here, I keep my AirPods. These are the AirPod Pros. And they're just in this cute little louis vuitton uh airpod case i got it from dh gate if i can find it i'll leave it linked below airpods are in there i love these i always have these taking my walks during the day um walking the dog listening to music around the house because they get annoyed with me because i'm an r&b girl and they like all that rap um i always use those zoom meetings throughout the work day because i have sometimes two to three of those a day just in my work day and then with my second job those are always like conference zoom conferences so i love these so they're always on me then we've got my card holder which i have not been using and i'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute i have not really been using this so this is my louis vuitton card holder i told you guys about this before in my um slg my favorite slgs video um the only thing that's in here right now is my little cash app card my old starbucks card and a target coupon and a i'm a georgia voter um thing from when i went to vote because when i went 
this is all I had with me. I don't use this a lot anymore, but it is always with me just in case I do. Then we've got my Louis Vuitton key clay. I always have this on me. This carries everybody's insurance card. So mine, the kids, Clarence. Um, I keep any coupons that I have in here, my prescription card, um, nail stamping cards, any receipt that I need like physically to do like a return. I'll throw it in here so I'll know where it is. So this actually comes in handy for me a lot and I love it and I'll continue <laughs> to use that. I really, really love that. Um, next is the reason I have not been using that card case and it's this wallet. So I think I either hauled this or talked about this in a couple of videos back. This is my MCM Patricia Park Avenue wallet, trifold wallet. That's what it's called. The Patricia Park Avenue trifold wallet by MCM. I love this thing, y'all. It's all leather. It's all Italian cast skin leather. I love the little uh, front closure here. It is a button. It's just everything, y'all. I love, love, love this thing. It holds a ton of cards. It holds like cards back here. It holds cards back here. You can hold some cash. What I, girl, I got a single dollar. <laughs> what I'm doing. Um, I never really have cash anyway. But yeah, it holds cash back there. I even um keep a card in here. And I actually keep the card in here to like close it shut. It makes it easier in my opinion. And I keep change in there too. So it is small but mighty. I will link this for y'all. I'm going to link everything for y'all. But this is small but mighty and I like it. Then I've got this big lighter. This is a funny story. So I keep this in my purse because if y'all watch a couple of vlogs back, me and Clarence, we don't go anymore. But we like to go to the park. We've been going to the park with the whole pandemic just to like change the scenery, date night, stuff like that. Y'all, my hair is just, it's swelling. It's hot up here. I'm just going to keep it a buck. It's hot up here. And like, I feel like my hair is swelling. Anyways, when you, if you natural, you know what I'm talking about when I say swelling, like the roots just start to puff. Anyways, um, and so I bring this because we will go to the park and like smoke cigars and bring wine and do like a meat and cheese tray, you know, grown and sexy stuff. So to light your little cigars, I always bring a little big lighter. And I got this little uh, cover from Etsy. I just thought it would be so cute, especially to like pull out of your purse when you need to. Whatever, like stupid stuff. These are the things I do, but whatever. Um, and then moving <laughs> to the middle compartment here my sunglasses these are in a free people case because i need something like soft for the bag but these are my favorite you guys have asked me so many questions about these i'll leave them below for you guys but these are just my fendi sunglasses i love these you guys love them. all right we're still in the center we've got my keys this is just the louis vuitton four key holder if you can't already see a theme i like the damier evening prints i'm not a good i'm not a big monogram girl and um inside are just my keys i recently picked this up it's just this little marble like door hook and like you use it to put like punch in your pen when you swipe your card and stuff like that just so you can avoid touching things i got it for a dollar from the dollar tree um go get y'all one because it's definitely come in handy for me Next up, I've got my white nail polish. Y'all, I keep this with me because when I go to the nail shop, I always get my toes in white and they never have a white that I like. Their white always looks dull, probably because they're using it on other people. And so I bring my own. This is just the Kiss Gel Shine Nail Polish in white. I get it from the Dollar Tree, girl. Um, then we've got my Chanel Les Beiges lip balm you guys have seen me use this before let's just drop a little oh um yeah love this uh it's one of the very many lip balms <laughs> that i use um we've got my dior this is their new stellar attic gloss mine is in mirrored i love it this is really good if you want like a nice bronzy um, your lips, but better like type color. Y'all, do y'all see me sweating? It's hot in here. I don't know why. Anyways, um, I got this Valentino Donna body lotion. I got this as a sample when I bought a fragrance and I love it. 
I will actually purchase this fragrance. It smells really, really good, but I like using it to like spruce up fragrance. Like, so if I'm out and about and I feel like my fragrance is wearing down, I use that and it works great. Um, this is the NARS Lip Tint Oil in Reef. I really like this. Very nice lip gloss. This is the Pat McGrath Fetish Lip Balm. When I want something clear, I go for this. So that's in there. Y'all see this bag holds a lot of crap. <laughs> then I've got some Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer. Um, these days and time, we always need it. Um, my Chanel compact mirror. I'm not going to show it to you like this way, but yeah, it's just a little compact mirror. This is a little hairbrush. I got it from the Dollar Tree. I like it because it's compact. And so instead of a brush sticking out of my bag, it's folded away, tucked somewhere. So I like it. Very rare do I need to do that anyway, but when I do, it comes in handy. Um, I have my, this is the Chanel Purse Spray, spray the Twist and Spray in Coco Mademoiselle. Love this scent. This is very, very good. It always reminds me of my grandmother. And that's not a bad thing. It's like good like a good mature scent but not like overly mature you know um then i just have my bloomingdale's little brown cosmetic bag this just holds randoms like dove deodorant spray a top coat for when i go get my toes done because i don't want their top coat or base coat either um my buxom lip gloss because y'all know i love a good buxom lip gloss a tampon cuticle oil Regular chapstick by Vaseline. Oh, a NARS lip gloss. Is this a NARS lip gloss? Yeah. Random stuff. Okay. And then in the zip compartment back here, I don't keep anything. It's the care instructions bag or thing. And then back here, is a coupon, I think. Yep, it's a baby food coupon. And a thing of stamps, because I actually had a mail a letter yesterday for work purposes. Then you've got this very back pocket here, and I just got a thing of gum. Y'all, the bag holds a lot. All right, so this is the bag empty. Let me just say, I love this bag. I think it's amazing. It's very reminiscent of the Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton as far as style, shape, accordion style. Even the drop strap and all of that is very, very similar. What I love about this bag that I'm glad I never pulled the trigger on the Louis Vuitton one is that this is all leather and you can tell it. This bag has a very, very good and nice balanced weight to it. The stitching, see if y'all can see it is amazing girl if you've been sleeping on coach don't do it go get this bag baby because this is a good quality made bag um a little like preface about myself or whatever i'm a handbag lover like a true handbag lover i'm not a girl that's like oh i can't wear this bag because it's not designer no i love handbags so with that being said my current collection is actually a mixture of um like designer contemporary brands and you know, luxury brands like Alexander Wang, MCM, Louis Vuitton. And then I've got some coach bags, as you can see. And Rebecca Minkoff is one of my favorite contemporary um, designers. So this is a great bag. It's constructed very well. The stitching is really good. Um, I have no bad to say about it. Um, as y'all can see, it holds a lot. Mine is not dirty in the inside. Mine is also in the pine green color. It has this very blue, nice navy inside that says Coach. It is fabric, but everything else is leather. I love this graphite hardware that's on the bag. It's also um, got Coach like embossed here and embossed on the rivet here. It's got coach on the rivet, like the turn lock, the physical turn lock. Coach is written there or like engraved there. You have this really beautiful leather tag that says coach that you can get engraved because I, or hot stamped, I'm sorry, which I will be doing um, as soon as COVID's over. But my, my favorite thing about it is the 
um, glazing and the stitching of this. And just the, mine still smells like leather. It's pliable and it's just good. Okay, I'm 5'2", y'all, and I'll tell y'all about this shirt. I'll leave it linked for y'all. And it falls at my hip, okay? So, that's probably the worst matcha ever, but whatever. But yeah, and it falls at my hip. I love this bag. My gripe about the bag is that my hardware is chipping. So, I do have some chip hardware, but it's only on this area. The hardware is not chipped anywhere else so i know that it's the wear from me opening and closing the bag um now girlfriend is going to the shop because she has a little bitty tear in her glazing and coach has assessed it and we're going to be sending her off soon so i'll actually be swapping out of her here soon because she's going to go get fixed but i think this bag is worth it y'all even with that happening I think this bag is worth it. Um, it's originally $350 full retail. I got mine for $175. They were running like this major sale um, during the summertime when my birthday was. Um, so definitely get it on sale. I mean, come on, girl. It's Coach. <laughs> don't do all that, okay? Hell, even if it was Louis Vuitton or MCM or all them other ones, don't do all that. Um, so definitely wait for it to go on sale or see if you can find one that's on sale. Oh, girl, I'm shiny. Um, or see if you can find one that's on sale or something like that. Um, Macy's always has it on sale and so does Dillard's. So I'll leave it linked below if I can find my exact color. I know this was a seasonal color. I will. Um, I'm looking into the Oxblood color too. The one that's like a deep, it's not like this. It's like a deep maroon color with the gold hardware. I just think these are beautiful. Um, so whether you're in the high-end bags or contemporary bags. You cannot go wrong with this bag. I think it's really, really good. Um, I love mine. Uh, she's going to the shop, but I love their customer service and saying, well, that shouldn't be happening. You've only had the bag for a few months. We'll fix it for you. So all in all, I think the bag is worth it. I will keep you guys posted as I always do when it comes to handbag reviews. So we will review this again in six months um, to a year to let you guys know how I've been liking it, but I have had it since July and I've been wearing it consistently. Um, I'm about to go into another bag that I got for my birthday, which is the Rebecca Minkoff Mac, which you guys know I love, the mini Mac. Um, but again, a great all leather bag. That's something else about me. I love a good all leather bag. If you're looking for a good, non-trendy, classic, full leather bag, this is the way to go. It comes in so many variations, so many colors. So you're definitely going to find something that will uh, like suit your personality and your aesthetic. Um, but this is a great bag, you guys. So um, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Okay. <laughs> um, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know about this bag for those of you who have been asking me um, in the comments and on Instagram how I've been loving her. I adore her and I definitely think you should get one. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!